Howdy, folks, and welcome to Grandpa's Game Garage. I'm Stephen George, Internet Grandpa, and your game mechanic for today. Today's game is Keystone Castle, programmed by Jong Jung Boo. Uh, and also, there's a little uh, tag on here that says Adaptation. I don't know if I've noticed those tags. Have those tags always been there? Is that new? I don't know. Tell me what it means, because I don't remember seeing that before. Um, otherwise, the pixel art looks pretty. So let's get started and find out what this is. Keystone Castle. Keystone Castle. Press A to start. Okay. Oh my god. Wow, alright. So we have sword, and we have jump. And this is like a full-fledged side-scrolling adventure game. Alright, cool. So let's... Oh, shoot. Gotcha. Careful. No, you don't. Get away, evil hobgoblin. I gotta get up there and get that gem. Looking good. Look at. Oh! You have found a throwing dagger. So now X is a throwing dagger. And there is. A really long cooldown on it. Or maybe it's gone. Maybe I used it and that was it. I don't know. Because I don't get... <laughs> I don't know if I... I think I may have had one. I'm trying to get this guy as he flies by. There we go. Yeah, I might have only had one dagger. Because I went to use it again and I can't. Oh god. Careful, oh, Lord. I'm trying to I'm trying to be very careful here. Take my time on the gems. There we go. Got it. This seems like the safest path back. How do you get up there? There must be another power-up that you get at some point. There's another another gem. They're coming up from both sides. I can open the seal, but I will need about 10 gems to cast my magic spell. Okay, so I must have had enough. Oh, my hero. Thank you for playing. Adapted from platform code by the Oranko? Oranko. Oh, okay, so it's adapt. Oh, I see. So the adapt the ad adaptation tag must be when you take someone else's code and you use it to, you know, make your own game. Neat. That was neat. Uh, I'm not. I, I don't know if I bugged the dagger by throwing it off screen. Maybe that's what happened. But that was, that was really cool. I'm actually going to restart real quick because I'm curious. I'm just really... Oh, I still have the same amount of health, actually. Oh, wait! It's like... Wait a minute. Oh my god, I, it's like Castlevania. I can, I can attack these things. I've been able to attack these things the whole time. I think this is invincibility. Yeah. Now I feel silly. There was an entire other element to the game that I was missing. Okay, so I still don't know how to get into those. So now I have full health. Can I, like, break stuff now? No, okay. I was just... You know, there's definitely elements about this that I was, I was missing. So now I'm like, oh, there's more to this than I even knew. And now I'm like, well, hold on. Being careful. Oh, you know what? I think maybe... I'm not entirely certain, but may... Oh, God. Maybe the, the hearts 
were my health bar, and then the other health is, like, my lives? Alright, I found the throwing dagger. I'm gonna hold on to that this time. I'm just gonna hold on to that. But I also know that there's stuff to, um... I know that there's stuff, uh, to the left. Because there was a chest over there, and I don't know how to get into it, and that's driving me slightly mad. I'm like, how you get that? You can't double jump. So, oh, I died. That cost me two things of health. All right, so I was sent back here. And my gems reset. All right. Okay, I, I don't I don't have to play through this entire thing again, but I'm just curious. No, that 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 can't be. When I got hit, I took health on my health bar and not my heart bar, so I'm actually still not entirely sure how this works. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to uh, I'm, gonna, I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm just gonna go t towards the exit. You're dead. The quest has failed. Press A to exit. Oops. Okay, it's probably a good place to stop there. Download this game and play it for yourself. Um, tell me what's in that chest. Tell me how to get to that chest. You can tweet it at me. Because I'm not sure. Uh, the instructions were, you know, vague. And, uh... I'm not sure if there was something I was missing. Maybe I had to take the throwing dagger all the way to the other side of the level. Maybe that was the trick. Maybe that was, that was all there was to it. I don't know. Either way, did you know it's Friday? It's Friday, and therefore... It's time for a question. Today's question uh, comes to us from uh, Ayushi, who asks, What is your earliest memory of a franchise you adore in the present? And there's a lot of different ways I could answer this. A, a quick, vague answer, or a more general answer, for a lot of things, and I think a lot of people will share this with me, is um, you probably have really strong memories, if you're my age, of standing at... Uh, demo kiosks as a as a kid and playing video games. I have really strong memories about that. Um, one in particular that stands out is I can remember the very first time I played Yoshi's Island. It was at a demo kiosk at a store, and I can't remember the name of the store, but I remember where it was located in Myrtle Beach. But I remember going to the store and being in the electronics and playing Yoshi's Island for the first time and just thinking how beautiful it was. I was like, man, this is like... And it, it was... A, I mean, that's a late Super Nintendo game, so they had a lot of time to really, like, make something that took full advantage of the 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 console. I was just really impressed with it. But that that same story just recurs, uh, recurs over and over again throughout my life because I can remember... Uh, standing in the Walmart playing uh, Star Fox 64. Um, and some of you may remember how they would put the TVs like up above all of the shelves and stuff. So like you have the, the, the controller, but you're looking up. I remember very vividly anytime we'd ever leave the Walmart, like I, I had uh, neck pain because I would just stand there, you know, for... 40 minutes while my my mom would shop and I would just be like you know but that's how I played a lot of these games like before they came out so yeah or before I got them usually not before they came out anyway that's uh, so that is kind of it's not a very specific answer but that's what, that's what's going to be my answer because I have a lot of um, good memories of that yeah also did you know that tomorrow is extra life Tomorrow is our annual children's charity event. Uh, we play video games all day, raising money for our local children's hospital. This is the 10th year that we've done it. Uh, last year we raised, uh, I think, over $120,000. And this year we're hoping to raise even more. It is super fun. You can join us at twitch.tv slash George tomorrow starting at noon Eastern. We play video games for about 20 hours, and it's the Nintendo Wii Library. Your donations choose what we play any game in the uh, North American Wii Library. So uh, tune in. It's going to be a fun time. And if you're around this evening, 
Uh, tonight, actually, around 8 o'clock Eastern, we're going to be doing a test stream for the event tomorrow. So stop on by, hang out, get in an early donation, and then, of course, join us tomorrow, all day, twitch.tv slash Stephen George for Extra Life 10-year anniversary edition. It's going to be great. It's always a good time. I sincerely hope you'll join us. Okay, have a good weekend, but seriously, join us for Extra Life. And tell your friends. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow.